Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me, of course, in Heart of Iron 4, playing as Lusophonia, or the United Kingdom of Portugal and Brazil. So, right now we're taking a look at the little conflict between us, the Axis, versus the Common Turn, which is quite large. So, uh, we got some resistance occupation down here in Uruguay, Uruguay, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see, I waited one guy yesterday, leave a comment saying, why don't I develop more military factories in Brazil? That is because I do want to, you know, build up... I am building some more military factories, but I really do want to build up uh, dockyards in Brazil quite a bit. And kind of just because I don't know if they're going to get, going to get continue to get invaded here in South America. So I don't want to invest in something where I'm going to might, I might lose it eventually. So that's not good. Uh, we are losing in America for now, which isn't good. But that's pretty normal when you're fighting the America as well as the Soviet Union at the same time. Yeah. So, uh, we're pretty much stuck here. I do want to go to war with Argentina. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And actually, anti-resistance stuff. I need to get better military police. We are still the spy masters for the Axis, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, we only have level 1, which gives us like 10%, I think. Level 2 gives us 10% even more. So that'll definitely help us out. So, uh, goals. Definitely take out Argentina, and, or at least maybe go to war with Argentina. I think we should be able to do okay. We should have enough planes... Eventually. Eventually. Uh, make another 100 fighters. We got enough manpower for this. We got enough fuel for it at, as well right now. Uh, send some tanks to the Soviet Union, I guess. I don't know why to deploy them there, but whatever. Also, if we can... Ooh, what's going on here? Ah, some British convoys going bye-bye. Ooh, more British convoys. Good. Oh, even some ships as well. Beautiful. Now, I want to make naval bombers. But I'm not sure where to put the naval bombers. It might be good to put them here, perhaps. Oh, we have an airbase down here, too. Over here, the Demara... Demarara plane. Huh. Actually, how many... Oh, we lost a ship. That's not good. Whatever. Uh, how many planes do we have? Less than 100 for Naval Bomber 2s. That's okay. I don't want to use just 100 at a time. Using only 100 at a time is okay. It's not great. Let's see. Bing, bing. Sorry, my cat was making weird noises. Uruguay, local police force. They get up to, what is that, 33%? 35% perhaps? You know, whatever. Oh, and we have another spy because I think someone died last time. Um, Infiltrator is pretty good. Let's do that. Counterintelligence. Level 7. We probably don't need level 7. Counterintelligence here in Paris, perhaps? Uh, put you... Unless we want to do the Soviet Union, that might be more fun. That might be a lot more fun. Um, let's go ahead and do it there. Oh. Reclick that. Go help out Bourbon, France. Very nice. Very good. Sinking quite a few convoys now, which is really nice. Really, really good. Awesome. Uh-oh. They have an American division there. We're still finding more convoys. This stuff is good. I mean, the Soviets like to just grind on our line. Give me just one moment here. Let's take a look at how they're doing real quick. Cool. My apologies about that. My cat was meowing very loudly for some reason. Not really sure why, but now he has a bushy tail. But anyways... Cool. Bing Bing is a special animal. Now, I probably really should send some, the naval bombers down here. It looks like they could really use some, do some damage down here, we should say. Do some damage. You know, it's, there's only 100 of these guys. It won't do that much. Their range is okay. It's not great. But we can try it. The worst we can do is try. Even though maybe I should instead put my army up here to help defend against the Soviets. But they are just attacking like crazy. Now, the Soviets, our intel is not bad. It could be much better. They don't have a lot of factories. They've got plenty of manpower, of course. Percent damage ratio. They have up to 332 divisions. Now, I could send my army up here, but supply already isn't very good. So, that would not be a very good thing to do. Uh, let's move our cavalry around just a little bit more. Why don't you focus here so we can expand this way. Uh, Bernardo, do you have anything for us? Uh, you're pretty good at cavalry. Even though you're not the tank guy, 
cavalry expert. More defense. 10% more defense. That's okay. I do like the blitz and encirclement stuff. So let's do that. And I'm trying to make these motorized, actually. If you remember from the last episode, I was trying to make these guys more and more motorized, which will be good. How much motorized we got? Let's throw on one more. Good. Now we can't really do much here since only two tank divisions and they're not even full 40 combo with tank divisions, whatever. Um, so 32%, that's not bad. What are we making? I need tactical bombers. So we're going to keep making these military factories, that'll be good. Ah, rubber processing, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Could get more fuel gain. It is 1942. Could do raise my production cap and efficiency. 1942 artillery. Let's get military police. That'll help garrison the area better. Oh, we lost another sub. So be it. So be it. Have we found anything over here yet? No, I mean, look at that range. It's so bad. It's probably just best if I send him here and do Cape Verde Plain. That's probably for the best. Uh, nice. Good. Soviets are still trying, though. They're definitely still trying. We've moved our guys around a little bit better. Awesome. Can we tech right here? Oh, yeah. Nice. Good stuff. They're so incredibly weak. My goodness. Man, when you put the game on a historical, things just get a little crazy. Well, at least a little crazy. And China is gone. Oh, nice. Look at that. Our fleet actually blew up a little uh, British task force. Nice. Good job, guys. Uh, if that's the case... Everyone go ahead and repair. Nice. Very nice. Oh, we got hitting some guys down here, too. How many men have the British lost? 1.79 million. And we've killed 330,000. That's not bad whatsoever. Really awesome. So we've actually pushed here a little bit. Go ahead and hold. Do not move. Do not move. I'm going to try a small little Soviet encirclement. There you go. Let time go on. Uh, we got plenty of political power. I know I could do stuff with it, but, you know, whatever. Prepare, infiltrate the civilian administration. That sounds like fun. Plant, plant false intelligence, navy. I could use my intel cipher on these guys, probably, if we have it already. We do, but that'd be kind of a waste. Prepare a collaboration government. We'll also concentrate on our other enemies and free up troops to pursue other objectives. Make resistance contacts. For inf oh, let's infiltrate the army. I think that'd be very useful. Good, got a good chance. You're a natural order stage coup linguist. Um, infiltration, Renee. I'll probably use Renee. She's pretty good. And then capture cipher sabotage risk. Oh, let's do this, Daniel. Yeah, that's good. We got excellent chance. Nice. Risk minus 40%. I feel really good about that. Even more dead. Even though I do need to make my subs a little bit better. I need to research better subs, but it's only 1942, so we got time. Alright, what else is going on? A powerful merchant marine. Great, because we want that extra research slot down here. So, merchant marine protection. Our experience in the Great War has taught us that merchant ships must be protected against the threat posed by submarines. More anti-sub warfare technology and destroyer stuff. Lovely. Yeah, not bad. Uh, you know what? Our defense here is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead. You're a linguist, so if you work in counterintelligence in Paris, does that help them with getting a higher level, maybe? Perhaps? No? Yes? I don't know. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, we're getting attacked. Well, as long as we draw in the attacks and make them weaker, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm okay with that. Medium picture looking good. Motorized are still looking pretty darn awesome. Let's make our... Cavalry even tougher. And by cavalry, I mean motorized infantry. Nice. They're becoming much stronger. Resistance, I mean, you're 32%. I mean, it's not, that's not bad. Uh, Northwest Germany, they're trying to invade us there. Whatever. Down here, we should expect more results. Yep. We got some subs doing our stuff. We got the subs. More subs. I wish the range of those naval bombers was better. I really do. Should I go to war with these guys? I mean, I need I need more of an air force. Let's build up a lot more military factories first. Infrastructure is great and all, but I need more military factories. Um, you know what? Here, in Brazil, I'll build one more. So that I can make more tactical bombers. There you go. Uh, we're going to need more aluminum. Hungary, thank you. Thank you. 
cool. More, more, more. Let's keep sinking them. Keep sinking them. And we've got they stopped attacking for now, which means I'm gonna do all but you guys attack here. And then you you of course support the attack. So now we got some dockyards. Cool. <sighs> These are such garbage ships. But it's my garbage. They're my garbage ships, so I feel okay about them. I don't even have level three. Holy cow. Yeah, we need a little bit more steel. For Bon France. Jim and Reich, we'll just get one because we've had problems with you before. That'd be okay. Oh, no! No, she died in the line of duty. No, no, my beautiful spy. Why? Why must you do this to us? Hmm. You know what? Even if we go to war, we can still contain these guys, so it shouldn't be that bad. 85 days, whatever. Let's do it. Take more South America, make us stronger. Wow, we sunk 10 enemies up. Destroyers? Nice. Uh, what are we doing here? We're still trying to move over there? They're really trying to make it so that we don't get over here quick enough. And we should be there almost instantly. Come on. Help out. Thank you, thank you. Nice, these guys have been encircled. That's really good. They don't have any out of supply problems yet because of probably their land doctrine. Yeah, we're definitely losing in America. Just keep holding for now. How strong is America now? Quite a few divisions, alright. Quite a bit of manpower. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Naturally, they have a lot of factories, but, uh... Yeah, we're in kind of a tough position. Let's, let's go, what's Asia doing? Asia, what are you doing? Still pretty large over there, pretty large. Germany, what's your manpower like? Just so that we understand where you're at. Oh, you have a lot of manpower! Holy cow! 2.47? France is a lot? I mean, this war is going to go on for quite a while. How about the UK? What, what the, What's the stats on the UK? Our intel's fairly decent. They have a, quite a bit of map. They have so many. How did they get that many factories? Um, seriously, did you build all that in the UK? Hold on. God, it's laggy. Uh, where do you get these extra factories from? Oh, it might be because you have exiled governments and they might give you more factories? That's a ton of factories. Uh, they are on extensive conscription. Ship-wise, it's got plenty of ships. What is... How many dockyards do they have? Or not dockyards, but um, convoys. We don't know. I can't see. It doesn't really matter too much. But keep seeking them. It's an easy way to seek more manpower is to kill the convoys. If they're transporting soldiers, of course. Yugoslavia claims... No, 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 no. Why do we claim them? They're in our faction. Cool. You probably kill those guys off, probably. You guys can probably support the attack. There you go. Uh, take you, just hold. Thank you very much. Motorize, 1.3 thousand. Let's go and just convert pretty much the rest of this to become less squishy. Nice. Very good. Yeah, these guys aren't looking super strong right now. And that's a good thing. We could attack here. We might be able to circle four divisions, but let's, let's wait a little bit. Our allies are doing okay. I should probably concentrate my forces a little bit better. Put you guys actually down south here. Even though... This is a giant mess. Even though our divisions, are, our allies' divisions are looking very, very good. You want to go to war with these guys? Oh, have the planes done anything, really? I mean, they're not doing much. I mean, the range is really just bad. It's just terrible. Do we have any, like, islands I could hop to? No. Gulf of Mexico might be possible. Well, then we'd probably get shot down quite a bit. What we could do... Oh, wait. I still have my planes up here. Huh. Forgot about that. You know what? Send you back down to Brazil, because we're going to need you. That'd be good. You're really not doing much for us. If I send you down here, could you sink some stuff in the sea around you there? Maybe another operative? Great. Diplomatic control, seducer, infiltrator, linguist. I like that. Infiltrator. I love the infiltrators. Linguist, tough. Let's get her because you are okay. You are good at stopping enemy operatives. So you are actually going to come right here to Germany. And you are instead going to do intel in. Oh, we don't have that much intel there. I might have to do more intel here, actually, just, just because we could probably use it. We share it with our allies, probably. 
Uh, another division? Good. Where are you guys at? You're down south? Good. Take out Argentina, probably. Probably. A lot of factories coming along very nicely. We're making more tactical bombers. Sapphire for Argentina is good to go. We are prepared super well. And who else do we want to decrypt? Probably the... Oh, we already did the Americans. Uh, the Canadians are okay. We did them. Eh, do Poland. That'd probably be good to do. They're still trying to attack us. They're really... Why are they attacking until the soldiers almost completely, literally die? That's just insane. Improved infantry equipment. Nice. Let's grab some... Ooh. Defense and breakthrough. Thank you. Cool. Our organization is pretty low, but we're getting a lot of experience. Does anyone have upgrades? Raul. Um, I really don't want to waste things. How far are you to learning stuff? You're pretty close to learning quite a few things. I'm going to wait. Oh, we actually were defeated there. Oh, boy. They're attacking me so hard, but actually defeating me. Even with almost no organization, we can still do relatively okay. Uh, who are we not getting stuff from? Nice. Keep sinking stuff. I'm not really worried about it. Just drain the enemy of the resources. That's the main thing. And we really just want to kill off Argentina. We really do. Which we have in about 40 days. Nice. Slowly but surely destroying uh, enemy ships. Ooh, we are starting to lose this a little bit more. They're really pounding us hard here. Uh, wait. Hold on. You're at the top. 2.79. Ah, Merchant Marine Protection. Let's grab Fuzer Eros. A well-trained Marine Force is fundamental for the security of our overseas possessions. Great. Very good, very good. Just keep holding on here. You know what? You might even throw another division up there just to help out. Very good. Throw another division down there. Good stuff. More dead enemies. Slowly losing America. Bangladesh lives in a white peace. So be it. Good. 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 Tons of political power. Develop the Santarum chromium deposits. Sure. Uh, Region-wide industrial integration. Sounds good to me. I could raise my conscription again, but I'm not really going to. Trade convoys looking pretty good. Oh, we're actually losing here now. That isn't good. Yeah. These guys could become really experienced. Yeah. Nothing's moving here. So I'm going to actually replace you down here to Crimea ish region. You want Harrison again? So come on down there. That'd be great. Military, please. 1942. I might as well get the next one, too. Which means we probably even need less divisions to garrison down here. 0.31. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, how many tactical bombers do we have? We're trying to get more close air support, which is fine. Naval bombers are coming along very nicely. We don't have any tactical bombers. We're supposed to have 35. Naval bombers. Oh, there they are. You know, I guess they'll be okay. Sounds like we're getting navally invaded. You know, whatever. Three guys right there. That'll be important. I want to attack here if we can. I think there's a river here, too. But nonetheless, uh, I will be right back in just a moment. Alright, my apologies about that, guys. I didn't mean to leave, but I did. Anyways, uh, I didn't realize this, but apparently... Uh, France has been invaded again. Pretty normal. France always loves the invasions. Uh, oh, wait. We have a motorized division? Eh, it's not as good as what we've already made, but... Uh, do I need to guard this? I'm hoping not. We're, you guys are reorganizing yourselves. We still want to go to war with Argentina, of course. Um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be the big thing in this episode. Uh, it's only four, maybe four, five, five divisions? They're pulling down their tanks, which is actually a really smart idea to contain the threat. But uh, I really don't want them to come into my my area here. Please. We're not, they're not winning. They can't get pierced. And I'm joined here, actually, with... Uh, my cat, Binky. Portuguese, Brazilian, Lusophonian cat, Binky. So they can't really win too well. And our guys are dealing with a threat. So what's going on over... Oh. Oh, hello. 
Um, that's not good. That's really not good. I did move my tanks down here, but they're still through Turkey. They're still we're still defending up here. Uh, I don't want to say. Oh yeah, we're gonna lose that. Whatever. No, whatever. Keep defending for now. That's fine. That's the main goal, and they're they're definitely attacking. Um, oh, nice. We go to war with Mesopotamia. You know what? Germany, you're not going to war with any more people. What would happen if I went to war with more people? What if I wanted it? Holy cow, look at how many... Oh, buddy boy. Hold on. We need more tactical bombers. Holy crud, that's not a lot. We need more military factories too. Build them up in the interior of Brazil. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And build it in Rio. There you go. Um, This is probably a bad idea. It's probably a really bad idea, but let's do it anyways. Because, why not? Okay, they immediately attacked me, and I didn't realize I didn't have that many divisions down here. So, yeah, you know, whatever. Uh, are we winning these? Oh, you're not winning down here. That's not good. Keep Give them more defense. That's good. Yeah, I could have used a few more divisions. I really want to attack down here, though. That's what I really would like. But you know what? I'd like to make an encirclement, but it's not going to happen right now. Whatever. You can dismantle those guys. We should be able to hold down here. We should. All five of those divisions are attacking across the river, which isn't ideal for them. But we might do the same to these guys. Let them get weaker, 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 weaker. Immediately start attacking because their divisions aren't very strong. All right, very nice. Good, 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 good. So far, so good. Um, oh yeah, look, that's the problem with last stand. You literally have a last stand. You literally l lose the strength levels of your divisions, which is, oh, it's pretty painful to look at, not gonna lie. That's pretty darn painful. We have this for another few hours. Just don't lose the division. We can always replace those men, that's fine. We're getting attacked. Hey, that's not too bad though. Really not too bad. Mm, you guys are hanging out here, and of course the Soviet Union. Uh, we could maybe, could we cut these divisions off? I don't want to do fourth stack. I don't want to lose any more divisions. We might be able to win. Maybe. Of course, we're doing some damage to enemy task forces a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, we're getting attacked down here. Still, again, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Alright, whatever. I really don't want to do a general push. I really want you to be gentle. <laughs> a gentle attack. How about you guys attack? Oh, it's over a river. Oh, god. That's a really good defensive position that they have. Do that. You guys do that. Oh, no. Oh, we're getting attacked ourselves. Oh. Okay, then. Give me all three of you guys to help support the attack. Uh, when you're done getting attacked, I guess. Holy cow. Did you see that division? It nearly died there. What the heck? Oh, you're still defending. You can't do anything. Um, yeah, we lost that tile. That makes sense. Yeah, we definitely need to repair these guys. Heal them up. You might be able to win. Yeah, you should be able to win. Cool. Awesome. Oh, another invasion. Uh, another invasion in deep. In Normandy, of course, because why not? But they're responding to the threat accordingly. We're doing okay. We're still trying to bust through here, which we should be able to. And we should have our tanks fairly soon. Invasion of Argentina is going a little better than I thought. I suppose. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's get our guys actually down here. We were defeated again. Um, seven divisions is quite a bit. Just go that way and kill them. That might be the best solution. Or they, do they not have enough? Wait, hold on. Let's double check. Oh, what we and I will do the attack with our cipher. I don't want to forget that. There. Okay, now I don't live in Argentina. It's happy 1943 though, guys. Happy 1943. That's not a lot of manpower. They're even on extensive conscription. That's not a lot of manpower. What the heck? Like, I guess you know Argentina probably doesn't have that big of a population, but I mean you got six million here in Buenos Aires. I'm, I'm feeling real good about this now. You're doing well, you guys. Luis, infantry expert. You know what? I don't ever use improvisation expert. Let's do that. He's level 6. That's pretty awesome. Let's let our guys get some more planning bonus, and then we'll try an attack. Because these guys like to attack a lot. Let's let them move around where they need to be. It's still, it's still a little laggy. Oh, it's not got a light cruiser. Awesome. More American convoys. More American convoys. Good. Uh, they're still attacking down there. Oh, we actually broke through. Now that's nice. Seven divisions. 
Not going to be having a good time. And Herson. Love it. Love it. Oh, they're gone. Cool. Cool. We're slowly still losing it here. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. And we can't get this part of Brazil back. Whatever. I really don't care. Uh, you guys, you know what? It's time for us to strike. Uh, you know what? Guys, go crazy because I'm going to give you... Well, actually, it's over here. The Cypher. Reveal the intel for 15% more breakthrough against the country. Yes. Amazing. Tally-ho, tally-ho. I uh, hope you guys can do well if you are... Oh. And also attack, guys. You should be able to do well. You should be able to. I don't know. I'm risking a lot of things here. You can't win here, unfortunately, it looks like. Uh, Luis, you have another upgrade? No. Just do your best that you can, guys. That's all I ask for. Do your best. Uh, you got a little bit more support here. This is going to be a really tough area to take. But up here, we're doing very well, which is reassuring. So, how many men are we going to lose against these guys? So, or how many men have we lost so far, I should really say. They probably joined the Allies, so they're probably at the bottom. No, they haven't. We killed off 150,000 of them. We've lost how many? 37,000 to Argentina. Nice. No, thank you, Communist China. No, thank you. I think we'll do okay. I think it's safe enough for me to ignore them. Probably? Let's do Naval Research Institute. With the right investment, our Escola Naval uh, could improve its research efforts and provide a higher quality education for future officers. Yes. 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 Cool. Develop this some more? Sure, yeah. Um, Region-wide industrial integration in Iguacu. Ah, Normandy is looking pretty good now. Support weapons. Great. I wanted a sip of my Portuguese-Brazilian mixed coffee. Brought to you by Taco Bell. But anyways, not really. But it is Taco Bell coffee. Anyways, um, this is going to be good. Now this is where we can start doing a few more encirclements. You guys get up there. We're going to start playing this a little bit more. We're going to attack there and then move down there. So, you know what? Honestly, we should just combine these guys. Level 5, level 1. There you go. There you go. Now we're feeling good. Oh, hold on. What am I doing? What am I doing? Holy cow. No, 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 no. Get some better guns. Infantry equipment's good. I usually don't like fighting on two fronts, but you know what? It is what it is. Alright, you guys. Let's go ahead. You guys all attack there and then take out this tank. Take out this guy. Go that way. There you go. Thank you. Guatemala, you're crazy. Uh, we're doing pretty well against Argentina. Oh, we need to start doing... No, we're still decrypting Poland's cipher, which is good. I do want to see their intel. Uh, they have one special forces, 24 divisions. We have really good intel on them. Okay, now they have a lot of deployed manpower, but they still have 6,000. Oh, never mind. 2,000. What about 3,000? 7,000. Mmm, got some hot Brazilian coffee. Okay, so they're mobilizing with more with the extensive conscription. That's fine. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's fine. I don't really care. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> we took Buenos Aires, which is great. Keep moving down, guys. Keep taking whatever we can. I know a lot of these attacks aren't going well, but a lot of them are. So, and we have to keep up the attack so that we can make sure that we can continue expanding into their art, through their lands and stuff like that. That'd be very, very important. Good. We're doing pretty well, honestly. I'm really pleased with what's going on. That's a lot of casualties. That's a lot of casualties. You know what? If we're gonna go kill off Argentina, yeah, we might as well do all of South America. You know, at this point, 90 days. I think we'll, they'll be dead in 90 days. Keep holding on. Don't attack anymore, guys. America is still pretty darn strong. Convoy. Convoys. 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 Alright, did we do that? We clear them up. Great. Now we have uh, some issues down here. <clears throat> I don't like this. I really don't like this. That's a case. Let's come up here. Since we linked up the fronts, that's actually really awesome. We weren't able to link up the fronts earlier. Come over here. We're going to take out Krivoi. Krivoi. Ri. Ri. Ru. Ri. Ho. However you pronounce that. Good, good, good. I would like to end this episode when we take out Argentina fully. They don't have a lot of victory points left. And for some reason, they don't want to join the Allies, which, you know what, I'm okay with. Actually, are they fascist? No, they're not aligned. Like, wait, and what type of non-aligned? They are... Just not aligned. Oh, board observers, nice. Let us grab now advanced fire bases. Oh, we can't quite win here.
All right, they got a little bit of air support, I saw. All right, we'll keep taking more tiles, keep taking more tiles. They cannot beat us in some locations. Uh, just keep advancing for now. I know it's very risky, but they're so close. Literally 92% of the way there. Come on, Bink. Come on, Bink. Come on. Get Cordoba, and then we can probably capitulate them. I'd be surprised if we couldn't capitulate them if we don't take Cordoba. Military Police 2. Happy 1943, my friends. Like I said earlier, but let's get some construction. That'll be helpful. Actually. Oh. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Soviet Union got a little tougher by annexing Tabu Tanutuba, but no one really cares, to be frank with you. No one cares about Tanutuba. Look at this. Ooh, supply issues. Can we go that way? Uh, you guys hold. Uh, you know, you guys come down here, take them out. Come on, Bink. Oh, yeah, that's not the chair you usually like, though, Bink. Go cool, come down here. That'd be great. Keep an eye on this. Cordoba. We gotta have it. And we haven't fought them for it yet. Sounds like someone's getting navy invaded. Good. Keep invading. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. We've lost how many to them? We've lost quite a few. 78,000 versus almost half a million. Roughly half a million. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good. They're still losing. They're still losing. Good. Oh, we won that battle. They're about to be capitulated. Glorious. Oh, we got enough factories down here now. Um, put fighters down here. I do. Okay, you know what? Argentina, you don't even want to join a faction, so we'll take all of you. Thank you. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh my goodness. Honestly, I love the field marshal, but we might need a new guy. What if I assigned you, not Raul, because he's not very good. Hermenegildo Vieira. Hmm, I know, I know. My Portuguese is not very good. That's good offensive doctrine, so I can make you one massive front line. Thank you. Now, Chile. You're going to become a very fun place. Argentina, civilian oversight. Uh, I don't know if I really want civilian oversight. I want as much compliance as possible, of course. But, uh... Resistance growth. I really don't like resistance spread from Mendoza. Mendoza is pretty darn high. I don't like that. 1.6 goes up to 1.8. We have full garrisons. Oh, now it's going even lower. You know what? We'll come back to that in a little bit. That'll be good. Mm, South America. You guys do that. You guys do that. Ah, we have another fighter there. Good. Uh, can we throw on any more... Fighters, hundred things of fighters. We got plenty of plenty of naval bombers, which is nice. Send you guys, hold you guys, hold them, hold them tightly. Do that again. You know what? Mexi Mex Mexico, why why are you going to war with everyone? You're like the Germany of like Central of North America, North America. Send you guys over here too. Blow stuff up in the English Channel. You having a good time, Bink? Yeah, you are. Cool. And I know I'm ignoring things right now, but yeah, they'll, they'll do that job. Cool. Military factories. Uh, we need more aluminum and stuff like that. I might just build more civilian factories so we can trade more stuff away. Uh, Mexico, that'd be nice, but uh, just do that, I guess. We need, to, we need to do some civilian extraction. Civilian extraction? Resource extraction. Ah, more lands. I love it. I guess I'm really not going to be looking into uh, building up... Too much of a navy, I guess. Like I said earlier, I wanted to make Brazil, I guess more South America, into a naval yard, but not going to happen right now. Mm, whatever. Uh, how's this going? We finished our conflict. Come on, Germany. Can't you finish yours? Oh, we took the the place. Yeah, the, the, the place. So we're going to all stack up right here. And I need some logistic companies. That'd be good to do. I've got some of those. Oh, nice. What do we do? Operations. Infiltrate the army. Thank you. Uh, civilian administration, yes. Uh, steel blueprint, stage coup costs. Who is... Ah, eh, send her. Because we love her. Infiltration, yes. Yes, yes, good. Just Uruguay. Uruguay has a lot of problems. For being one of the smaller nations, they have a lot of problems. That we took out. Uh, you guys, more subs. There you go. Now, I'm surprised we're not suffering from any sort of attrition problems, but whatever. Not my problem. Kind of. 
Could I do something like this? This would be kind of radical to do. This is a bad idea, probably. But, let's do it anyway, see what happens. So that Poland is fully decrypted, that's nice. No enemy cipher. Um, Switzerland is pretty evil. Uh, Germany, we don't need Germany. Uh, do Japan, you never know if we might need Japan. 110, that's so good, 110 days. Oh my goodness. Awesome, keep going, keep going. We don't need to guard that area, which is good, so... Thank you. You hold, because you're going to need a hold. We, we need more fuel around here, too. Zaporozhye. You know what? Maybe this idea was maybe a little too rambunctious. Just go and hold for now. And I want to strike here, if we can. If possible. Ah, oh, yes. Good, 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 good. Let's get Arsenal de do al fighta. Our main priority should be to build a strong navy capable of protecting our far-flung empire. We should have the capacity and knowledge to build bigger ships. The main dock navy dockyards in Lisbon should be enlarged and experts in shipbuilding hired. Yes. Ah, oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. Need some of that. And we can't win here. That's okay. Let's let uh, our allies get in here first, and then we'll come from the south and encircle these guys. That'll be smart. Probably. Good, good, good. Region wide, keep doing that. Definitely want to encircle these guys down here. Are they still? Eh, they're kind of still attacking. Uh, how much intel do we have on these guys again? Uh, it's gone down. It's gone down our intelligence. 84 factories on military stuff. Plenty of manpower. They have less factories than before, which is good. Army intel, 227 divisions. Not bad. Really, I think it'd be easier to take out the Soviet Union than. Uh, the United States, because that's still going to take quite a bit of time. Uh, especially since the United States does have that modifier, like 20% attack defense on core territory. That's going to take forever. Yep, that, that's going to take forever, yeah. Homeland Defense Emergency Act. I mean, I could probably send my divisions to help out, but even then, they're, like, they're suffering from attrition and stuff. I can't build up infrastructure in their lands. Overall, it's probably not a good idea to do that, and Uruguay is still on fire. But you know what else is new? You guys are doing okay. You don't have that much resistance, even though it might be going up still a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, let's double check that. What? At what point do they stop rebelling against me? Oh, you're at 15%. That's not good. Um, that's not bad. I mean, maybe up to 30%, maybe? 30, 40% up there? Maybe 35%? It's not bad. I want to build up more compliance, of course, so. That's, that's, that's pretty important to do. More compliance is always good. All right, let's get these guys around. Still want to go to war with Chile. We want basically... No! Otto Skorzeny! No, no, no! Oh, the Soviet Union, no. You damn bastards. 1943, and we're going to try to strike right here and then right there. Or just right here in general. Move our front up just a wee bit. Attack there, attack there. Let's do that. Come on. I know it's pretty laggy, but that's okay. Uh, close air support. We could make some of that. We got plenty of support equipment. Uh, that's a lot of support equipment. Even though we don't really need that much support equipment. Oh, we need more. Oh, aluminum. Aluminium. That's fine. That's fine. Building some more of this up, which is good. Might need some more fuel, though. What happens if I just tell you guys all to come this way? Could you win? You might be able to win. You might be able to. Not bad. They do have air support, but, well, they have air support, but so do I. Hmm. Yeah, we might be able to win here, especially if they keep knocking these enemies down. Can they pierce me? No, they cannot. They're really well dug in, though. Come on. Come on. Yeah, the number's going up. They're, they lost a few divisions. The two cavalry divisions, we might not be able to do well here. Uh, even our divisions are starting to retreat a little bit. Yeah, we can't do well there. There's too many supply issues right here. Uh, that's a problem with attacking this territory. It's so supply dependent. I need logistic companies to do this, actually. Yeah, I'm pulling these guys out. What's supply up like here? Um, 57. How much supply? We're barely over supply here. Bare we're over supply there. Uh, I could try this. I could. We could try that. But unfortunately, I must end the episode here today. Oh, wow, that's interesting. 
That was a few plans, but that's okay. Anyways, we did really well. We've taken out Argentina. They fully capitulated. They're now under us. We will go to war with Chile next time. We're losing slowly in America. We've done a slightly better. Okay, we're doing quite a bit better in Yugos in, uh, not Yugoslavia, but the USSR. Because, well, our allies just keep pushing. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow when the game hopefully isn't this laggy. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.